Hi everyone and welcome back to Developer Soapbox. Today I want to show you how to set up and use the new official MongoDB extension for VS Code. So this will allow you to connect to a MongoDB server and run commands against it from Visual Studio Code, which can potentially replace your existing Mongo query client. If you have not already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on videos like this. So you will need access to a MongoDB database, which I won't go into too many details here, but you can easily uh, get it by going to mongodb.com, just as I am here, going to software, selecting community server, and then simply selecting your OS. So for example, Windows X64, and then your package type. Uh, if you're using Windows, most likely you're just gonna use MSI, which is the uh, installer. You can then simply follow through the installation wizard. If you're setting up a development server, you should be okay with all the default options during the installation. One thing you also need to make sure is that you do add the MongoDB bin directory to your path variable if you'd like to use the MongoDB uh, shell from VS Code. Now to install the MongoDB extension, let's go ahead and open uh, VS Code, then click on the extensions tab and search for MongoDB. DB, and it's this one right here. So the first one, it should be the first one. It's by, uh, the, it's the official extension. So it's by MongoDB. And go ahead and click the install button. So once it's installed, uh, go ahead and uh, restart VS Code. And once it's installed, you'll notice this new panel on the left side, this little leaf over here. Go ahead and click that, and it'll give you a connection manager. So let's go ahead and add a connection to our um, development server. So let's go ahead and that connection. And this will open this pretty nice connection setup screen right here. If you left all the defaults in your MongoDB uh, installation as they were, uh, then your host and port will not need to be updated here. So you can actually simply go to the bottom and click connect. So once the connection is successful, you'll be able to see the available databases on the left side. You can now create a new database by clicking on this plus sign next to the connection and adding the database name. So I'm just going to call it MyDB. And the database does require at least one collection. So I'm just going to create one called Customers. Hit Enter. And I can now open my database and view and drill down into my collections. So you can see my Customers collection that I just created and any documents inside of that collection. Right now, I don't have anything. So let's go ahead and add some. And to do that, we're going to use something they called uh, MongoDB Playground. So to access that, go into your view and command palette. Or alternatively, you can also use Control Shift P. And then if you just search for Mongo, you're going to get all the available options for this particular extension. And I'm just going to select this one right here, Create MongoDB Playground. Select that. And this is essentially a script window for MongoDB commands. So by de default, it will give you this nice template uh, to give you an idea how to use it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and clear the screen and start fresh. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is select which database you want to execute your commands against. So, and you can do this by doing use parentheses and your database name, in my case, it's MyDB. And then after that, you can, just as in uh, MongoDB shell, you can then reference uh, that um, currently selected database using DB. But check this out. If I do dot, you can see that I now have full IntelliSense through this extension. So that, that's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and select our customer's collection. And I'm just going to insert one record. Um, let's go ahead and insert a new customer with the name of oh, Jane. And let's run this. You can run it by either pressing this play button right here on the top right, or if you do the command palette, if you prefer that route, you can select this option right here, the run all from playground, which, you know, again, if you do Mongo, um, it'll give you all the MongoDB options. So I'm just gonna go to that route. And every single time it will give you this prompt to just make sure that you want to execute uh, the commands. So I'm gonna hit yes. And there you go, we, you can see that it did insert my record. It'll give you a feedback through uh, the output right here. And if I go into my uh, connections manager and let's go ahead and refresh, go back to my customers documents and you can see that it did add a record um, 
for my documents, right? So if I click on this, you can actually see the details. So you can see uh, it in a UID uh, generated um, ID and the name of Jane, which is what I added. If you wanna see all documents, you can also right click on the documents and do view documents. In this case, again, I just have one. And if you want to do a query, let me go ahead and close these. If you want, want to just execute a query against the, the collection, you can also do so from here. So let's go ahead and again, do it against customers. And let's do a find where the name is Jane, right? The, the record we just, we just added. And if I execute this, there you go. You can see that it'll give you the output uh, of the last executed command within the script down here in the output terminal. So uh, let's say that I did have um, something else, right? So if you have two things that can provide a um, an output, so let's say that I have something that doesn't exist, like where the name is Jane one if I execute that, you can see that it returns nothing because it'll only give you the output for the last executed command. The next feature I want to show you is the ability to quickly call the MongoDB shell from Visual Studio Code. Uh, so from here, let's go ahead and open or uh, com command palette again by doing view command palette. And again, uh, searching for MongoDB. And you're going to select this one, the launch MongoDB shell and go ahead and, and enter. And a couple of tips I want to mention here. So like I mentioned before, you will need the MongoDB um, bin directory for your installation uh, set in your path variable uh, in order to use the MongoDB shell. So if you get uh, errors saying that it can't find that particular command, the Mongo uh, command, then that's probably your, your issue there. Uh, the other uh, issue that I've, that I've actually run across, and I can give you the example right here, is uh, this, this error, right? So, um, so it's just, cannot find a, a reserve character and so on. So the, the reason this will happen is if you have your default shell uh, in VS Code set to just the command terminal uh, in Windows, right? So to fix that, we simply change our uh, default shell to uh, PowerShell, for example. So to do that, you can just click this uh, drop down here, do select default shell and select Windows PowerShell. Then go ahead and uh, hit this little kill terminal to, to close and, and terminate the demo. And let's try that again. So again, command palette, search for Mongo, and select launch MongoDB shell. And this time we're in. So from here on, it's just your standard MongoDB shell. So for example, if I do show DBS, I can see all my available databases. If I wanna select a particular database, so let's select MyDB, which is the one we just created. There you go, so now we're using that database. And from here on, uh, we can just reference just as we were doing within the MongoDB uh, playground, we can just reference that particular database with DB. So again, I can just do DB, my collection name, which is customers. And let's say we want the count. There you go, we just have one record. So pretty awesome, right? Again, great job by the MongoDB team. This is a pretty awesome extension. Uh, and this is actually still in preview. So uh, hopefully there's gonna be lots of additional enhancements, school enhancements out there. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe and like this video. Uh, and as always, stay safe and have an awesome day.